Oh, hello, fellow humans. My name is David, and welcome back to another episode on Endercraft. So today, I've decided on a floor. I used a design that was actually in one of my other videos where I used red nether brick and normal nether brick. I also have a uh, nether wart now. I got a nice whoop. I got a nice farm growing at my base. These chests aren't ready yet, it's not complete, it's not stocked. If you look at the sign in front of my face, it will be open soon selling other items. So, yeah, I look forward to that, other undercrafters, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. It clearly fits the sort of netherish, creepy, cavey vibe I feel. I guess I could add, like, maybe cobwebs or... Something to make it more creepy, but honestly, it doesn't need to be creepy, it's fine on its own. So yeah, first thing I want to do today is to put item frames on these chests, label everything and the prices, and just get the place stocked and ready to go. Oh yay, it's bright now. Brilliant. And what else do I want to do today? I'm actually not sure, I just started recording and decided... Alright, this is what we're doing today. I've done a bit of off-camera work and nothing else. <laughs> but that is because I was working on the video in Daphne Subscriber Realm again, where we were just looking around, and it was... I mean, yeah, it didn't take forever to do in terms of recording and, like, building and stuff, because we didn't do any building, but... I don't know if you guys know, but if, like, you don't do any sort of YouTube, it does take a while. To do the editing, especially when the recordings are longer, like let's say time lapse, it takes a lot longer for the videos to trim and to be sped up and just other things like that. It takes a long time for the editing process. Yes, I can do other things while I'm waiting for it to load, but it still takes a while. And yes, it does help if I split up the recordings, like I start recording. Uh, I've finished recording halfway through the time lapse and I do it again, but I still have to add it to the actual video, like compress it all up and everything. So it still does take a while, plus I have to trim it twice, and what I'm saying is, honestly, one of the most lengthy things of videos isn't even like the actual gameplay. It would take longer, I guess, for Minecraft, but editing is just so crazy. Okay, so let's dig out of here. I still have my anti-egg splat defenses up right now. So yeah, I've got a nice little nether wart farm I'm collecting from. I still got everything else going on over here. Um, yeah, I didn't do too much on my base. I have been, like, spreading coral around and other stuff if you haven't noticed. And where are these guys coming from, even? Like, seriously, how did you get here? Did maybe, like, zombies drown? Because you see all those pickles. How are they getting here? I don't know, but it's annoying. So yeah, I still haven't been able to find another zombie villager. Probably because there's no grass here. <laughs> and so I don't have a full beacon. But it does reach farther, which is nice. And I've been digging this place out. I was just about to um, turn this flat concrete powder into concrete. And line it up around here. As we're making the place bigger, it's going to be probably at least like 10 or 11 blocks deeper, maybe more. Because we will need room for like a village of some sort, where we're going to have pretty much all of our things in the different houses. Whoop. And we'll probably have um, like a grand town hall sort of thing, eventually, as like our central building area. I I really don't know what sort of style I want to go for, or even the palette, but I do want it to seem like sort of a fantasy village. That would be nice. Oh, I just remembered what I wanted to do today. <laughs> so I wanted to um, put some palm trees on here and stuff, because I decided to get rid of things, and I'm not trading with the villager right now. So sort of an idea I had was there would be, like, bit of a rocky pile here and like a tiny little pond and that would lead to a waterfall down here so then we wouldn't need this staircase here which will make things a lot easier to work with and just a bit of flowers and such 
on the island. Again, I'm not sure what I'm doing. But, I mean, if you think my other builds are good, then you know that I'm decent at winging things. Let's just get some materials and start to figure out what we should do. Alright, this is the pretty nicely sized little pond here. So then my plan is the beacon is going to be going through the waterfall, I think. That'll be pretty, uh, pretty cool. So let's just do that now. I'm gonna place the water over top of it. And just hope things works out. It's a very small pond. We'll probably have, like, a bit of coral decoration. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Definitely we're gonna have sea pickles there. I like sea pickles. I'm not interested in joining the cults. No more attempts have been made to have me join them as of yet. And I'm still kind of nervous about it. But whatever, so... Yeah, this is gonna be the way down, and... Oh. I just realized... <laughs> I'm gonna have to move the beacon. I'm, I'm gonna move the beacon, um... Underneath the final layer, eventually. Do not worry. Oh, that looks really weird. So yeah, that's the pond, and then I was thinking we'd have, like, maybe some sort of rock thing close to it. That would be sort of, like, right here, maybe? Uh, how should I go about this? Hey, everyone, it's voiceover David here once again. So I thought I would just do a quick first-person time-lapse thing, just on the spot in editing. Because I know I don't really show my building process much, and honestly... <laughs> I'm a pretty slow builder. It's kind of sad. Honestly, that's just me figuring things out for how I want it to be. For even just small things on a small island, like Little Rock. Alright, yeah, that looks pretty nice. We could add, like, maybe... Ooh. Oh, we could add, like, a button. You know, a bit of detail, or, I mean, detail. <laughs> Can't speak, apparently. Oh, we could actually scatter them around, like, little stones on the island. Yeah, let's craft a few more of those. Uh, does that look good, though? Mm, I don't know, I think it works. So, we will want to decorate the pool just a little bit. Got this going in, I like it. I think it's a nice little feature. So then we'll have, like, I was thinking sort of a small palm tree right here. And then a bigger one probably right either here or here. Maybe we could have three, actually. Ooh. That'd be nice. I'm not really sure, but I guess I'll figure it out when I come back to you. Okay, so I decorated the little pool here with a bit of coral and just, you know, some standard stuff going on. And I've started the trees. I looked up more tutorial stuff again. And I noticed how it usually is kind of combined with one bigger than the other. So I'm attempting to recreate that. I think it looks pretty pretty cool so far. I just need to figure out what to do with the leaves. I'm trying not to copy things. Just doing a similar cool style. So let's see what we can do with this. You know, I think that looks pretty cool. I'd say... I could try to be a bit more, uh, interesting with it, and maybe add, like, make them droop a bit more in certain spots, and just have it less completely consistent. But I think it looks pretty cool. We're basically halfway done with this tree. Uh, I probably want, like, maybe, I don't even know if another will fit right now, because these do take up a lot of space. Okay, maybe I can fit one, like, right here, or no, right here. Maybe that's, I don't, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I think I might just stick with the one, to be honest. I've also might have overdone it with the flower power just a little. <laughs> just a tiny, tiny bit. But yeah, I feel like it's looking really nice and vibrant here, finally. And I've also been working down here. All I did was finish this up and adding it. So now the ceiling's totally black. I don't know if the space is going to go any longer, to be honest, but it will go down more, as I've already stated. 
So yeah, let me just see what I can do with this other tree branch part of it. And I'll be right back. Well, looky here. That looks pretty cool. I'm having wonderful transitions today. <laughs> um, yeah, I added the second layer to this. And I'd say it looks great. And yeah, I decided I'm not going to do more palm trees. It just probably wouldn't fit properly. And I think it looks pretty cool right now. Kind of tropical. Still might adjust things just a tad to look a bit nicer. I could actually add cocoa beans underneath that. That might look cool. Let's go see. Wait, do I actually have cocoa beans? I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can find it in uh, my floor. Oh, I do. Brilliant. Well, let's just put these on right now. I don't, like, usually or ever record with you guys, so... Uh, I don't have blocks. Mm. Maybe I can reach. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't usually record with you guys, because, I don't know, my building process, as I've said, as I just recently said, is pretty slow. And I don't feel like it would be very entertaining. I mean, if you want to see that, I guess I could try it. I don't know, it's not really my style. Okay, well, I couldn't place them on very many, because for some reason you can't place the cocoa beans on six-sided wood. I tried it on it, it didn't work. So, there's only, like, two cocoa beans on this tree. <laughs> which are acting like coconuts, and I think that looks pretty nice. Okay, so I do have stock for, uh, most things now. I don't have any, um, red nether brick as of yet, and from what I do have stock, there isn't much. Well, except for the magma. And I'm planning on maybe selling some mushrooms as well, or maybe even, um, gas tears and, uh, just other things from the nether fortress, like, oh, blaze rods, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> See, it's not done as of yet, but it's basically stopped, so I'd say we've accomplished everything we need to today. Yeah, I changed the sign to it's not done stalking yet, but there is stock, so the shop's open. D, because I couldn't fit David in there anymore. <laughs> well, anyways, everyone. Sorry, I'm laughing, because I just did my outro, but I forgot to start recording. So that was an oopsie on my part. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. We did a lot of work on this place today. I think it looks better than it's ever looked before. It's real nice. We work down below, above, and in the shopping district. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye!